This is task number 13, so we're going to do a vaginal smear. So we're going to go ahead and moisten our swab here. Some saline. And then while Morgan holds her, we're going to go ahead, it's our right, baby, just gently insert and rotate so we get a good sample of cells. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and go back out here to our microscope. Take our clean slide. And we're going to go ahead and evenly roll out smear. So then we're going to go ahead and just air dry it here for a quick second. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and open up our stain and our sterile water. So then we're just going to go ahead and do five quick one second dips. We're going to make sure that we rinse our slide in between each. that off. Then we're going to go ahead and place our slide butt down so that it can dry and then once it dries we'll go ahead and take a look under the microscope. Okay so we're back so our slide is now dry so we're going to go ahead and place it on our microscope and start looking for we're going to start under the 10 power so that we can get it focus in for us. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and focus in on 40 so that it can get a better look. And just a little bit of immersion oil there. And this poor dog actually has a pretty severe infection. So now we're just going to focus in again. And now that we are focused in, we're just going to go ahead our way from one side of the slide to the other, just looking for the different cells that we would find. So there are quite a few epithelial cells. Oxide as well, some red blood cells. Poor puppy is actually staying overnight so that she can be treated. So there's definitely some infection going on. So 
So we'll go ahead and let the doctor know what we're seeing. And then um, we're going to come over to the computer and just look at a few of the things that you will see um, on a typical slide. So we are seeing a lot of the epithelial cells on there. And then um, some red blood cells. We didn't see any white blood cells today, just the red blood cells. And then as for the stages of estrus, um, the first stage of estrus um, is the ant and estrus. Um, so you would just see a few superficial cells. Um, you might have uh, a few neutrophils as well. Uh, but as you can see, there's not a whole lot going on in that slide. Um, the pro estrus um, is when you would really start to notice with the patient that they have some drainage, um, possibly a little bit of bleeding. Um, so as you can see, there's you know, different cell types in here. You're going to see a lot of red blood cells. Um, and then lots of large neutrophils as well. Sometimes you'll see bacteria as well. And then the estrus. Um, so you're going to see a lot of superficial cells. Um, let's see. And then the um, diestrus. Um, you start to see where the numbers of the cells, the superficial, start to um, reappear. Uh, and then is kind of just a general of what we see when we look at them. So that is the end of task 13.